Hello children good morning i hope you all are enjoying good health no doubt lizard too so i am trying to just to keep you ready to challenge the coming situation possibility is there you may have to attend the online class or whatever it is though it is first one i will try my level best from the next video see the first chapter is about the force we learned a lot in standard 9 what is force it is invisible cause when applied on a body does many function according to the body if it is a non rigid body it changes the shape and size and if it is rigid rigid body then what may happen possibilities are many but two we will discuss how is the body is the rigid body free to move if it is so then we say it is a non pivoted body and the body comes in state of motion linear motion translatory motion but if you pivot the body means fix at one end or anywhere and apply the force then the body start rotational motion this effect of this only it is called the moment turning effect of force that is also called moment so two things are there we see here there is the force applied on a rigid body if non pivoted shows linear motion if pivoted shows the rotational motion here i have mega rigid rod one end is pivoted on other end i am applying force here what you see like this pen if it is pivoted at this point and i am applying force in this direction what you see the pen comes in state of motion and that is the rotational motion so the moment of force can be measured by the two things one physical quantity is how much force is applied and how much is the perpendicular distance so if the question comes state factors on which the moment of force depends your answer will be the first point is the force applied on the body and the second point the distance of point of application of force from the pivot certainly the perpendicular distance you have to write another thing if the body is there and it is pivoted in the middle somewhere and on both the ends force is applied see here this one is trying to rotate it in clockwise direction another one is anti clockwise direction if net force means sum of clockwise and anti clockwise force is zero the body will have translatory motion and if net force if net moment of force is zero then the body will have rotational motion so it is about one now based on this question can be asked why a wrench has longer arm the handle of uh, the flour grinder hand flour grinder you would have not seen but in villages it is also available these days also the handle is kept longer because longer will be the arm less force will be required after that if two forces are applied see let us discuss about the two forces couple all of you know what is couple a common example of couple is if suppose here it is a rod it is pivoted at one point here 
वन फोर्स इज अप्लाइड इन अपवर्ड डायरेक्शन हियर अनदर वन इन डाउनवर्ड डायरेक्शन एंड एज ए रिजल्ट द टू सी आर टू इक्वल फोर्सेस वर्किंग इन अपोजिट डायरेक्शन द मैग्नीच्यूड ऑफ फोर्स इन अपवर्ड डायरेक्शन एंड द मैग्नीच्यूड ऑफ फोर्स इन डाउनवर्ड डायरेक्शन बोथ आर सेम विच इज एप then how to calculate to simplify it a diagram is drawn it is given in your book also a line ab is there it is pivoted at point o then moment of force f at end a that will be equal to f multiplied by oa all of you know all distance is measured from fulcrum so it is f into oa and then it will try to move the body in anti clockwise direction similarly moment of force f at end b is equal to f into ob that is also anti clockwise direction and if we want to calculate the total moment of couple in that case it will be the moment of both the forces will be equal to individual force f because both are equal that is f into oa plus f into ob taking f as common i have now oa plus ob and you see oa plus ob gives you ab suppose ab is d then the total moment of couple is equal to f into d which is anti clockwise in nature so how to calculate the moment of couple that either force multiplied by perpendicular distance between the two forces which is also called the couple arm the common examples are there of couple even the rotation of tap when you try to open the cap of a bottle then your one finger pushes it in outward direction another one inward direction as a result the couple is formed and cap is opened the next important thing is the conditions for equilibrium what you will have to memorize it and you have to keep it at the tip of the tongue the first one the resultant of all the forces acting on the body should be zero and the second one the algebraic sum of moment of all the forces acting on the body about the point of rotation should be zero so these two things you will have to memorize and keep it at the tip of the tongue once you memorize and write and here every point is important if you miss any point you will not be getting the full marks now let us see about the principle of moment what we will apply in chapter machine also and all of you know it also in equilibrium the sum of anti clockwise moments is equal to sum of clockwise moments suppose here it is a rod it is pivoted at this point say i am writing it any point o the distance of O to A is L one, and the weight W one is downward. Another one here A at A another force which is W two is applied. It is also working in downward direction. So if we see both the moments, the clockwise moment. About point A is W one L one. About this point O, the clockwise force about this point O is W one L one. Anti-clockwise moment about point O that is W two L two. And in equilibrium, both should be equal. W one L one is equal to W two into L two. what does it mean clockwise moment is equal to anti clockwise moment this is the principle of moment so it is just only to see how much successful it is and after that i will try my level best for all of you and each and every point including all the numericals 
all the tricks to memorize will be uploaded soon thank you children have a good day